In this tutorial, I want to show how to create dynamic blue on custom app bar. So let me demonstrate what I mean. We have this custom app bar, and if we scroll, we may see that we change the color of this app bar and we enable blue. In. Now, why this is important is because we have this radial gradient on the background. If we turn this gradient off, there won't be any difference if we scroll or not. But with this gradient on, there is a significant difference. If we start scrolling, our custom view changes the color and we add blue. This is useful on multiple screens and used in multiple places. Here and on our notifications, it's clearly visible. And even in places like this, where we have a search and tabs, we enable and disable this blue dynamic. Okay, let's move to the new project. What we have here is something to simulate our radial gradient, this blue box. We also have list view with items, and we have our custom up bar, which implements preferred size widget from height to bar height. Uh, in real life, this is not important. We can always make this customizable. So for now, we have just this label custom up bar. In order to display our red, like square, blue square, and underneath the up bar, we should set up extend body behind up bar to true. And now we can get this kind of behavior. Now, what should we do if you don't know where to start? Obviously, like uh, blue in this is quite simple. But we need to blur it only when we scroll underneath it. Otherwise, it will look different from what we want. I usually start with custom with default widgets. Sorry. So let's try just a regular up bar and try to play with some properties. So we need elevation zero and uh, background color. Let's do the same. So now this is our standard bar, and if you check properties, we have scroll under elevation, and if we can stop this to, to let's say 10, you notice that default up bar already has some logic to understand if there is something under it or not. So let's go and try to find the logic. If we search what's going on, eventually we will see effective elevation and state contains scroll umbra. Now let's see where we can find the state and we end up here, handle scroll notification. And it seems like it's very simple logic. If you scroll a little bit up, we will see our scroll notification observer scroll under, we add listener for our scroll notification observer, and we remove on this pause, and we set up this variable scroll under in this listener. We just see if uh, extend after greater than zero, if it's up, or extend before greater than zero if it's down. Let's just copy this logic uh, into our custom up bar and check if it works. Obviously, we don't need this and we don't need notification predicate. So. Now, what we can. Oh, there is an error here. So it's too short set video. Here. Now, just for the test, let's just change the color of our up bar from black 
to let's say wrap if it's if there is some scroll under it. And reload. No, it's fine. We need to get back to our customer bar. And as you can see, as soon as we scroll a little bit under our up bar, we change the color. Okay, now let's uh, add blue. Okay, let's test it. Oh, we don't add child here, so let's exit our bar con content. And everything is bored, so we need to add clip correct. And now, as you can see, we change the color of our upper and add blue as well. This is exactly what we wanted. And that's all we need. Now let's switch to our main project and see the implementation of our custom upper here. So we basically pass the content of our armbar. So this is all the same. And the only difference is that our car is from this project. That's it. Thank you. Please subscribe.